Do you have to buy expensive watercolors, or can you get excellent results with student-grade paints? When learning to paint with watercolor, you want to buy supplies you can get excellent results with. If not, watercolor can become frustrating quickly. A lot of student-grade watercolor paints just can't give you those results. Hey there, I'm Krista, and today's video is our most important and final test for the student-grade watercolor paints. I will be painting the same picture with both the Cotman and the Van Gogh paints. In the past, I've always recommended to my students to buy a few tubes of professional grade paints. With the current prices going up, that may not be possible for everyone. So I have decided to look at the student grade watercolor again. So this is the last of three videos where I've been testing out our student grade watercolor paints. Let's do a recap of our student grade watercolor tests and what we found so far. And you'll notice as these paints are drying, the Van Gogh, I can see them, they're almost drying kind of grainy. That could possibly cause a problem. If you notice when I'm pulling that out, it just looked thicker, like it has more pigment in it. The Van Gogh re-wet, great. Their saturation was great. Their drying shift was okay. The Cotman tubes, they, they weren't as good as the Van Gogh for re-wetting. Their saturation was good. They were not or did not seem as saturated as the Van Gogh on the palette, but their drying shift was great. I will link those previous videos below in the description. That brings us to this video. For my first layers, I put phthalo blue on the backgrounds and I put in a light layer of our cool yellow on the lemons. At this point, everything was great. I mean, first layers, they both look good. I did notice one thing though, the Cotman, even though they're less saturated, it seems, it didn't seem like that once I had painted. So then I painted the upper part of the background with a mix of phthalo blue, the warm red, and a little of the cool red just to dull that purple down so it was more of a dark blackish purple. This is where things took an unexpected turn. After the paintings dried, I noticed the Van Gogh watercolor background looked like it was fuzzy with white little fuzzy flecks and the paint looked very flat. So next I added a layer of burnt sienna to our shadow area. After that was dry, I then layered burnt sienna again over the tabletop. So I decided to actually layer both backgrounds with a layer of ultramarine blue, hoping to minimize the white kind of fuzzy flecks that were on the Van Gogh painting. And it actually did help some. You could just barely see them after that the layers had dried. All right, here comes the lemony goodness. Now this is the fun part for me, getting to drop color into the lemons and layer different colors. It is much better than just painting a plain old background. I finished up the final details and here are the finished paintings, the Cotman and here's the Van Gogh. To me, the Van Gogh looks dull next to the Cotman. I have to say I was quite shocked actually by the outcome with my other two tests. So I actually repainted the Van Gogh painting again. Here's the verdict. If your budget will only allow for student grade paint, go for the Cotman. The Van Gogh watercolors were great in so many ways, but the outcome of the final paintings leave me feeling that I can't recommend them. If you have them, please use them. And if you're getting excellent results, even better. For the way I paint and teach, the Cotman student grade watercolors gave me a much better result. If you have a favorite student grade paint or if you have any questions stick them in the comments below. See you next time.